Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. This is Monique's Jewels. I'm hoping you guys didn't think I had forgot or that I wasn't going to come on tonight, but yes, I have to. We have the giveaway winners to pick. So, I had um, found some items that I haven't shown in a while, and this is my vintage, um, mostly signed pieces, and I think you guys are really going to enjoy this. Um, these pieces are, like I said, vintage, signed, and a some of them are a little pricier than just regular costume jewelry, but I'm going to try to keep the pricing low so that everybody could participate to um, purchase something that they liked and not get too overboard. So a couple of the picture, uh, a couple of the items, I took the pictures of um, what they sell probably on some of the um, resellers, you know, like eBay and um, a couple of the other ones. Just to let you know, you know, around what a couple of these pieces sell for. And I'm not going to sell anywhere near that amount. But I, just so you'll know that I do um, research all my pieces that I know are worth some money. And I will not, you know, overdo it as far as, um, you know, passing on a lot of savings to you. If some of these were on Etsy, they'd be hundreds of dollars. Um, there's a few that would be quite a bit. So let's go ahead and jump in because I am going to interject the giveaway in the video. Um, I'm trying to get people to watch the whole video. I'm worried because some of my videos are very long and I think people like to skip through to purchase. But you know, that's okay, but I would love it if, if you go through and kind of jump through it, you know, skip and go through it fast, if after you find out everything that you might want to go back through and watch it again um, through its entirety, as you know, that just really helps. Um, I am trying to spread the channel, so I have been using hashtags in the description. You guys do know that the description, um, you have to kind of click. It used to be easier to get to because there was just an arrow that you push, but now I think you have to click at, at more underneath the title of the video, I'm pretty sure. So be aware there is a description that will have the information on how to um, subscribe and register so that you can purchase items and other important things that will, you know, be on a video to video basis. Things change. Um, so make sure that you um, are checking the description. Um, so if you have any questions or comments or forget my email address or don't know how to register, it's all in the description. Okay. So it's Monique's Jewels 2 at gmail.com. Make sure you're checking the sold list if you're trying to purchase something. I'm still getting um, a lot of comments for items with no timestamp, which is fine. But if I have two or three of the same item um, and you're not telling me exactly what video it is, and, um, you know. So I think after this video or on this video, I'm going to start putting the date in the title. That way that I will know what day it posted, and it'll help me also, so that I can help you guys with some of the um, items you're wanting to purchase and making sure I get the right one to you, okay? So, if there's no more questions, um, if you have any questions or comments about the video or something in a kind of a personal matter with me, please email me. The comments, we use them just for very positive, uplifting things, um, to say hello to each other. Um, we don't purchase in the comments, and that is because there's a glitch. I don't know if it just has to do with me, but I don't always get all the comments. So, 
you know, with that being said, let's get started. And I hope I've answered most of the questions that you would be asking and everything else would be in the description. Okay, so here we go. Oh, I wanted to tell you, we got the most ever comments on a giveaway this time. I think it was close to almost 40 or 35, something like that. So that's that's good because I have so many subscribers and they don't want to, you know, enter the giveaways. And I think that's, it's okay. I mean, that's totally up to you, but I would like for everyone to get a chance at the, at the uh, giveaways. So, all right, I've got some really pretty things and I'm just going to grab, I'm going to grab a piece from over here. I've got it kind of spread out all through here. So I'm going to start right now right here there is a ring here that is what i think is just resin it's trying to look like ivory or bone um it's very very pretty it is a creamy white resin acrylic with these beautiful you know i've never checked these stones so i'm going to look and see what i did with the presidium and I would love to make sure that I do have a way to check anything that comes up. Um, I didn't even think about that before I started. What, I, <laughs> what happened is I had this huge tray. Everything was organized. Everything was laid out perfect for this video. And it fell off on the floor. So, it was enough items to where it was a horrible mess. Horrible mess. And I have to go back through the pieces and make sure I didn't lose any gemstones or crystals out of anything. Make sure nothing broke. And um, get it back organized so I can do that tomorrow night. So, and then I remembered I had pulled out all this vintage. Very nice vintage at that. And I just was like, hey... We'll just do the vintage tonight instead of tomorrow night. So let's get this going here and see if this is glass, which it very well could be, but it is cold, and see what happens. Come on. It takes like 20 minutes. No. <laughs> takes a while. Okay. Okay, we're warmed up, guys. Oh, you can see that. Let's see if this is a glass. Didn't even move. Hmm. Well, that's different. Let's see if it'll go up. Yeah. I don't know what that's about. Sometimes I. Sometimes I wonder. Because I know these are CZs. I'm pretty sure anyway. Come on. And the only time, see it's moving when I hit the metal. Okay. So let's calibrate glass. See what happens. Okay. Let's go to calibrate. Okay. We're good. And when I click on glass, it doesn't really move. That's fine. So this is glass. It is faceted. It's very pretty. We'll put this over to the side. Just in case. I don't know of really any more stones that I have in this vintage story. But just in case. So we have a faceted glass ring here. With, um, I don't think this is probably sterling either. I'm not sure what that is. It's very pretty. Hope I'm not rambling too much because it's getting late. And, you know, I get kind of chatty when I'm tired. So this is kind of an amber color. I don't like this lighting. Let's see here. If I can bring it up. The baby was messing with his little things. And I let him mess with them. So it just kind of... Go up a little bit. Okay, let's see if that helps a little bit. 
So that is a very pretty golden. Let's see if I can get the light on that. And let me give you a size on this. This is really cool. It's very, very neat. So on the side view, it is coming up about seven and a half. Yeah. And then that's what it looks like. It's very pretty. And that has um, designs around it. So I think I'll put 10 on that one. I'll just start putting them to the side. And now here's another one that's kind of a resin that I think is also mimicking bone or ivory. It is not. It's just a little dome ring, kind of cool. These are vintage. And this is about, I would say, it's hard to see it. But it turn, when you turn it sideways, is the true size. So I'm going to say this is about a six and a half. So it should fit. Yeah, it's about a six. This is not going to give at all. Yeah, it's about a six. It's kind of cool. Okay. And we'll put, let's put six on that one. Okay, let me grab, oh, let me grab these babies, Badgley Mishka, okay, these have sterling, sterling posts with very nice backs to them, and my back is crooked, let me see if I can get it straight, there we go, and they do fit, they like twist on and snap almost, these are a yeah, they're not super heavy. Let me push that down. There we go. Just kind of snaps in. Let's see. And let's see what it says. It says made in China. Everything's made in China. Deep dark. I, I'm trying to see if I could figure out where this came from. Now, the. Retail price is 38. All the stones are there. They are gorgeous. We have a very kind of a kind of a smoky gold tone in all the rest. And this has more of a pinkish tint here. Or maybe that's reflecting. But I'll tell you what, these are spectacular beauties. So I'm going to put, let's see, for the Badgley, let's put 18 on these. I'll show you the backs. Very, very pretty. I don't think th these have ever been off the card at all. Okay. Badgley Mishka. Okay, like I said, these are, a lot of these pieces are marked. There are some that aren't, but I mean, a lot of these will be. Let's see, what can I get next? Let me get, I have a trio. I have very vintage butterflies. And these are probably mm, mid-century, 60s, 70s. They are absolutely darling. Let's see, where did that go? There it is. I think that had a tag on it, probably. Yeah. So these are the backs. There's the back. Very nice. They are lightweight. They are very pretty. This one has a C clasp. <laughs> it's hard to see it. It just kind of pops out here. You can't see the C, but it's there. This one has, yeah, this one has kind of a C class. That's why I was saying like 60s. And this has a purple, pink, and green, kind of a bluish purple. This has, oh, this is pretty. This has turquoise, orange, and pink, some silver tones. 
This one also has the same type of clasp, probably the same maker on these three. And this one is not, um, this is looks like a moth almost with that green, real pretty purplish blue, orange, and black. These are all gold tone. And I'm going to put, because they are vintage, I'm going to put $10 a piece. Okay. So we have this one. And then we have this one. And then we have this one. So let's do it this way. Let's do one, two, or three. Okay, perfect. One, two, and three. Okay, we'll put that over to the side. Those are 10 a piece. Um, make sure you let me know which one you want. If you're wanting one, let's see what can we do next. Oh, let's do this. I try to keep all these in baggies separately. So they're all shoved over there. So I had to like open everything on top of trying to make sure I knew how much things should be priced. 1928. It is a rosary style. The beautiful filigree ball here, bead station. Um, a very nice lobster here. Beautiful faux pearls. Down here at the bottom are two gorgeous crosses. This would be a nice Mother's Day. The 1928, the iconic back, has that design. That's how you can usually tell if for some reason a tag is lost. Not pretty. This has the faux pearl design. This one is the little dots, the raised dots. And um, I think I'll put 10 on this one. Okay. Set that back in the bag. I'm just going to have a nice, calming, everybody's asleep, <laughs> which is wonderful. And it's a little later, and there's not a bunch of activity in the neighborhood. Thank goodness. Okay, next I have a brooch. This is for the cruiser in your life. Anybody's going on a cruise, and they have a jacket. Um, a little shrug, a little sweater, a blue jean jacket. There you go. This is beautiful. Isn't that pretty? This is not marked. Should be, but it's not. You have the little crystals there, and they're so pretty. This guy is about two inches, two and a quarter. It's about an inch and a quarter high. And I'll put, let's put six dollars on this. Just fabulous. Okay, I've got some pretty earrings. Now, these will have backs. They just don't have them right now. These are a gorgeous blue. Like a blue, cobalt blue. They're perfect. I don't know why I still have these. They are so pretty. These are a kind of antique look. Gold tone. They are fire. Let me tell you, these are gorgeous. Yeah, these are spectacular. I have um, not seen this pretty blue in a while. Um, that's the back. It's an antique gold tone. Fabulous shape. They are in fabulous shape. That one. Okay, and that's the post on them. And you will have silicone backs. And I'm going to put $10 on these. I think they're well worth it. Well worth it. Beautiful. And they are about an inch. Let's see, about an inch and a half. No, yeah, about an inch and a half. Just beautiful. 
Those are some of my favorites of all times. Okay, now this, this beauty, it's a little heavy, but it is very unusual. I don't know how old it is. I mean, it is just gorgeous. When I first saw it, I just, you know, I thought it was the antique-looking piece. I have to go back through here and make sure all these crystals on all these pieces, and I think they are. I'm going around them. Can you see these? These are beautiful. Because I don't want to sell it if there's even one missing, because it's just too pretty. I don't see anything missing. Okay. Now this has like a J. Crew clasp. I have no idea. This doesn't look like J. Crew, but it is fabulous. I like the design, the way they're hooked together, and this piece here makes them almost look like a very unusual kind of a oval. Um, let's turn that that way. Yes, this is cool. So this is not marked, but it is fabulous. This is approximately almost 20 inches. We have this beautiful what I call inner tube. Um, very gorgeous antique gold tone. Very nice weight to it. And I think I'll put 12 on this. Okay. It's beautiful, guys. It's lovely. And there should be some earrings around to match before the night is out. Okay. These are and I was thinking about these the other day. These are Whiting and Davis older rings, probably 40s. Um, these do have a tiny bit of wear, but they are just neater than neat. I'm going to try to get you to see. Um, I'm not going to use that magnifying glass because it doesn't help. Um, let me see. It's in this funny little um, kind of square. Yeah, I bet you if I can get that to focus, you'll see it. Come on, focus. It's right there. Let's see. Go back out. It's not going to be the same if I can't show it. Come on. Well, let me try another ring. So we have this one. Can you see it in pretty good detail? It is adjustable to a point. Can't remember what side comes out. This one might not be. I thought they all were. I don't know. Mm -mm. This one might not be, but anyway, it's an older ring. It's I'm sure it's probably <sighs> copper over brass, or I mean, gold tone over brass, maybe. Um, this is right at, let's see if I can make it, yes. That is right at an eight now. It was about a seven and a half. We'll put it at an eight. I'll show you this one first. This would be number one. And you can kind of see through it. Kind of cool. This one is number two. Let me set that right there. This is number two. It has a beautiful flat bezel set stone. I, I'm not sure what it's made of. It's almost like that slag stone. It's kind of confetti. Green, I think it's trying to mimic, um, I don't know what that would be. Oh, maybe you can see, okay, let's see. I wonder if we can see this one. Hold on, let me look with my loop. Where is it? 
Oh man, it's right there. I don't know. Not something. Let me move my fingers so we can get more light. Just bring it up. Move that sole bone. And I think I'm going to do it this time. No, I'm not. Okay. Come on. <gasps> yes, finally. Whiting and Davis, guys. <laughs> Yay. Okay, anyway. It's pretty. It is also... We're going back out, guys. It's also adjustable. Yeah, we were supposed to have really bad storms, and I went ahead and did a bunch of stuff. And we really haven't had anything yet. But we're under a severe risk until in the morning. So I went ahead and came on. I've got this to an eight. It does have some wear, but it's older. <laughs> Okay, so that is number two with the green. There we go. At least you guys got to see the... This one is even easier to see, I think. Move that baby. Let's see. Yeah, let me see if I can get it to focus. There we go. Almost. Almost. Come on. You guys, this is so hard sometimes. Pull it back out. It's right there. I don't think it's going to do it, but I tried. I did. I swear I did. It's right there, Whiting and Davis. <laughs> this has a pretty, kind of a wine, orangish red wine colored cabochon in it. This one's not as um, worn on the back as the others. I think that's glass, guys. I really do. Yeah, and this one is a little glass cabochon, kind of in an egg shape. This one's so cool. This should be right at an eight also. Yeah, it is. Be right in an eight. And it's like in a square, almost pyramid shape, kind of. With the cabochon, it comes up about like that. And it is glass. So, I'm going to put, let's see, for these, these are pretty special. I haven't seen any. I've hunted for them. I think what we'll do is put um, 18 a piece. And this cabochon, glass cabochon will be number one. The green confetti looking will be number two. And the yellow. And this... You know, I might be mistaken, but I don't think so. I think this is more of a synthetic piece. It might be glass, too. I just can't tell. It's not really cold, so but it's hot in this room. So this will be number three, and they're all 18 each. And they are definitely a vintage. If you don't have very much vintage... These are fabulous to start a collection or start putting into a collection. Okay, I know you guys have heard me talk about the first set that got me started in um, the jewelry reselling. I used to make jewelry for years. Um, I still have the set. Sorry. I still have it. This is Schiaparelli, and this is the set I bought at the little antique mall down the road going towards right by the um, Grissom Air Force Base with my brother. It was a fun trip. I'll always remember it. 
he was with me and he's not with us anymore. And it has a clasp all of its own. It's very cool. Um, let me go back out a little bit because we're a little blurred. This is it. This is the windmill. It's not a windmill. It's just a design. To me, it looked like a windmill. To me, it was the most amazing thing that I had seen in a long time. With that beautiful, like, sea blue, and these four rhinestones are gorgeous. And these little rhinestones down here do have a little, I don't know, they're, they're a little darker. And I don't know if that's from the wear, because this is, has some age to it. Probably the 40s also. And with this are the earrings. And these are just spectacular. To me, they look like little bees. And Schiaparelli is on this right here. And I will... I'm going to get you to see this. There we go. Schiaparelli. Okay. So let's go back out a little bit. Oh, no wonder I was so far away. <laughs> there we go. These are beautiful. These little stones. I know they're not anything. I'm just going to see if they come up as um, glass. But I have no idea what kind of stones she used. Yep, just glass, guys. <laughs> Too bad they're not <laughs> something for real. But yes, the Schiaparelli is always, seems to be right there on the um, screw backs. These are true screw backs. They're not, you know, some are clips and screw backs. These are just the screw backs. The earrings are a little over a half an inch. And I'll put those in my hand. Look how much bigger my hands are <laughs> I keep forgetting to do that. Beauties. And the gold, the gold tone finish is so, it, it's just perfect. Okay. So this set right here will be 40 if anyone's interested. If not, I'll put it back in my collection <laughs> like I had it. I, I, I was so shocked to find it. It's just craziness. Okay, let's get some good stuff going here. Um... I have Nolan Miller. I have to move it along. Well, whatever I don't get done tonight, I can do tomorrow. Nolan Miller. I have this. I have found the exact. Look at that finish with that. These are faux, very, very pretty silver. I mean, not silver. These are a deep gray kind of a shiny gray with these little rhinestone kind of the same on both sides so they're almost like the little disco balls this is beautiful and I will show you what I found on this um here we go. This is the Nolan Miller. And she's got a, she had a price mark of 79, but it's 39. Okay. And it kind of shows you. And and the silver tone is just gorgeous. And that's got the Nolan Miller. Okay. So I'm gonna put I think I'll put 18 on this one. Matter of fact, it is right at almost 18 inches. It would be 16 without, I think it's right at 16. Or yes, it's at 16 without the extender. And like I said, it's gorgeous. And I've had it for a long time too. Okay, let's find something real cool. 
Okay. Very cool. Oh gosh, that shows my arms <laughs> like hairy law arms. Oh goodness. These are Joan Rivers. These are gorgeous. These are just cuter than a button. Has her name right there. That's why I was having such a hard time focusing, guys. This has like an amber glass with the turtle on top. These are fabulous. I think these are kind of rare. Um, I'll show you what I found. I mean, I already knew these. I had um, seen them before. Um, hold on here. Let's go back to here. Um, where are they? There they are. Now, I, now I don't have the box. Okay. Now this lady does, and this is her rendition here in the box with the Joan Rivers tag. These are from marked down from sixty eight to sixty one. It says Joan Rivers signed vintage nineteen nineties silver, gold, silver, and turquoise lucite tortoise. Sorry. <laughs> Gold, silver, I don't see any silver. These are gold. Lucite round turtle classic statement clip earrings. Okay, so I'm going to put, oh, these are so precious. And, that's, and the backs are very nice. So I'm going to put 18 on these, okay? These are just gorgeous. So I'm going to put 18 on the turtles, Joan Rivers turtles, and they're just a little over an inch. Okay. Yeah, these take a long time because you have to do the description, show pictures sometimes. Um, let's see, let's do another brooch. You guys, this is a Monet. This is a Monet. Isn't that pretty? And see it right there yeah there we go Mo Mo and it's got a beautiful little pin very nice kind of a light green stone it's very very sweet and on the um, here there are orange orangish colored stones, little rhinestones, and I think, yes, they're all there. So it's very sweet. Let's see if I can get you to see some of the stones better. Earthquake. Very pretty. So I'll put eight on that. I think the brooches from Monet are very, very neat. Just very pretty. Okay, let's do um what should we do? Let's do a necklace, another necklace. This is a Talbot's, but you know what? I think it's an antique gold tone to make it look older, but it's just too pretty. And I'm gonna kind of shake it down for you. It's just as cool as it can be. Um I think that wrap has got... Oh, I can tighten that for you guys. This is just... Oh, there. Beautiful. And you have... Kind of rose quartz faceted in, in between here. It has... How many strands are there? Four or three? There are three strands on this with the little leaves... And it is just darling. It is really pretty. And there's the big T for Talbot. Very nice. It's in great shape, guys. Isn't that pretty? So for this one, I'm going to put eight. And I'll make sure this little um, wire wrap cage here is tightened up. As a matter of fact... I'll do it right now. And I did get some, um, there were some cloisonne earrings. 
and I did get a um, new pair of earring. Um, I put some lever backs on the um, cloisonne, and they look really good. I mean, they look really good. Okay. I'm trying to tighten you up, not loosen. Okay, there we go. That's much better. Okay, I'm going to put eight on this. Okay. Set that over to the side. Oh, that was in the stuff that fell. So I'm sure I'll be able to show it to you in the next day or two, but yes, I did fix it. Okay, we got that. Let's do another brooch. I have this brooch here. This is either transfer wear or hand painted. I'm, I can't tell. Because, you know, just like with this, this brooch here, it's hand painted, but it has a um, varnish, you know, clear coat. It's darling, isn't it? Okay. Set that over there. We'll do that in a little bit. This one here, I don't think it has a mark. I gotta check. Nope, I don't see one. This is very pretty. This reminds me of an Avon piece. Um, I'm trying to see. Sometimes you can feel, but we'll look here. I don't know if that's painting. Could be. The way it feels. It's not like up and bubbly, you know, a little pixelated feeling. It's very, very flat. Very pretty. So this baby is darling. She needs a little clean. It feels like it had a little tag there, maybe. She's pretty. She's about one inch. And this is just very, very um, vintage, um, fresh, light, something you could put on a jacket. Um, but I just think it's a gorgeous piece. So let's put six on this one. Um, try not to go too overboard with some of these pieces. Okay, now this is going to be a hard one because... They are so unusual, okay? These are pyramids. I'll go back out a little bit, guys. These are pyramids. Don't look at my nails, they need done, okay? And they're kind of an enamel. I thought maybe, maybe Bakelite, no, I don't, I don't think so. These are Eve St. Laurent. Eve St. Laurent. These are I actually found these, but it was about six years ago. I found them online, and I can't find them anymore. I have no idea how much they're worth now, but I have studied. I went through about 40 pages of earrings earlier. These, I think they have the original backs on them, even. Little bullets. Um... There is not a pair of earrings, I don't care what kind of earrings they are, for under $100. And that's Poshmark, eBay, um, what's, oh, I, I can't remember what that's called, WhatsApp, or what, I can't remember. Anyway, so it's kind of hard to sell earrings, like by a maker like that, because people don't, you know. They don't understand or want or, you know. But these are pyramid-shaped enamel Yves Saint Laurent earrings. And I'm going to put 40 on them. Because like I said, I did not find a single pair like them. Which is not bad. That's a good thing. But the least expensive pair that looked like they were just like kind of plasticky. I don't know if I took a picture of it or not. Um, let me see here. Let me see. Let me see. No, I don't think I did. Did I? Oh, yeah. I took a pair of pierced because I was like, maybe they're, you know, 
So I took a picture of pierced Yves Saint Laurent, just kind of a plain. Oh, I can't, yeah, I can. See, they're about quarter size and a little less. And they're nothing more than like the enamel that I have. And just a little gold, you know, with the blue pierced. They don't even have the original backs on them. And they are actually 137. So I just wanted you to know, and this is, what is this? Poshmark, yeah. So I just want you guys to be aware that these are worth some money. And I'm not trying to be ridiculous, okay? So let me put these back in the bag. Yves Saint Laurent, almost, probably three quarters of an inch. Square, very pretty, very unusual. Nobody will have a pair like these, that is for sure. So let me put these over. So I wanted to get those out of the way because they're probably the most expensive piece I have here. Um, let's see. This I got from Doug, and it, I still have it. And I was very shocked because it has the most beautiful chain on it. And it has this gorgeous vintage heart. The chain alone is spectacular. Look, look how pretty that is. Look at the gold tone on this. This is, I think, what is this? The maker. The maker is Alda. Is it Alda? No, this is something different. Um, the maker is Baylocks, B A L L O C K S. So that could just be for the chain. Um, this beauty, what we have is a what I think is a quail here with beautiful flowers. And this is, looks like a dove. And I just thought it was so pretty and couldn't understand why I still have it. <laughs> Gorgeous. It's like an enamel heart. I mean, I don't think you could get much cooler than that. Vintage wise or anything else. So, I think with this gorgeous chain, which is probably at least 28 inches, I'm gonna put 20 on this, okay? Now, before I forget, if anybody's wanting this stuff, these beautiful items, it's not stuff, um, and they want them for like, say, Mother's Day, I'll invoice them tonight or tomorrow and ship them out Monday. And you should get them. Okay? So, now I have more Joan Rivers. These are gorgeous. Blue. Turquoise blue dyed quartz. Joan Rivers is right here. On, on all her lever backs, she puts the name here. Joan Rivers. I think that's upside down. Let me check. Oh, yeah, it's upside down. And it like runs in. It's like Joan Rivers. <laughs> All the same letters, like there's no space. There you go. Thank you. So these are gorgeous. Let me come back out a little bit. I think they're neat. So, and they're cold, and they're stone, and they're pretty. So I think we will put, let's put 10 on these. Oh, these are so perfect for the summer. 
Think of the colors in your dresses and stuff. These are very pretty. Okay, I'll set those over to the side. I think we're doing pretty good. I have a beautiful necklace and I have no maker on it. That just fell. Oh, nothing. This has the most gorgeous chain. Gorgeous clasp here. No, no maker mark. It's fabulous condition. We have one, two, three, four, five strands. We have five different chains. They're all different sizes. There's that. There's this. And then there's this beautiful chain here. I love this shape. And I opened it so you guys could see it. This beautiful locket. Look at this. And it's big enough for pictures. It is one inch. And this is at its longest, probably 28 inches. Maybe even a little bit longer. And I just think it's beautiful. So it's lighter weight. It's not super heavy. This is very these these different strands and these different shapes are very popular right now with the shorter strand and the longer ones coming. So I'm gonna put 15 on this one. I just think it's spectacular. Look at that. It's like it's brand new. Set that up to the side. There we go. Let's see what else we've got. I've got another 1928. And we are at 52, so I'm going to have to stop here in a few minutes. All I've got left really are earrings and brooches. And um, I can go through those pretty quick. Okay, this is gorgeous, too. This is a beautiful locket with a kind of a, almost a glass. I can't tell. It's a cabochon, as you can see from the side. Let's see if I can get this open pretty easy. Should be able to, yeah. Beautiful on the inside, look at that. The back is just a really pretty texture to it. So then we have the little flower arrangement, more or less, here. Kind of a festoon look and a rope. Beautiful rope. You have a barrel clasp and the 1928 tag is right here. This is just in fabulous shape, and it is right around 24 inches. And I thought it was just gorgeous. So we're going to put 12 on that one. Okay. So let's go through some of these marked earrings real quick. I've got these. Okay. These two are Swarovski. Okay. These are all marked S-A-L on the back. Right there. <laughs> there. You can kind of see it that way. These are gorgeous. Look at these. I've seen these before. The crystal with the gold teardrop shape. Um, Yves Saint Laurent makes a set up here like this. Beautiful. Here's the other one. Perfect shape. S-A-L. Then, these are so pretty, guys. Oh, my gosh. Purple and crystal. Beautiful little flower shape. Beautiful on the back. 
SALs right here. If you can see that very well. These are in brand new condition. Aren't those pretty? Okay, we're gonna do 12, 12 a piece on these. Maybe they should be more, I don't know. Okay. I have milk glass, vintage, very vintage. Earrings here, I'm gonna show you something real quick. Um, and then we'll do the giveaway here in just a minute. Okay. Oh, I don't see it. I don't know what happened to it. Okay. Should be right there. Um, no, not yet. Almost. I have so many everything on here. It's so funny. Okay. There's Joan. I even looked up the Joan Rivers because I had not um, placed them in so long. There's Bernard. Would have been. It's less Bernard. And if I'm not mistaken, he's an Indiana. He's an Indiana native. Yeah. And I did not actually find the white, the milk glass. I found some opal, uh, opalite. And um, they are, they're up there in price. I'll show you these real quick. These are also Les Bernard. Very similar, very similar in make. And these could be, um, I don't think these are um, blue moonstone, pastel blue moonstone. I don't think so. Um, these are very pretty. Here are some more. Um, very similar. Ear clips with beads, yeah. But I cannot. Uh, these are around thirty. I would say. Um. It just bugs me when I can't find the exact ones. But this is like vintage milk glass. They're almost thirty. Um. Very similar, very similar, but they're Les Bernard. I'll show you the name. Do it this way. They're in really good shape. They are just a bit worn on the back. Les Bernard Ink. And I'll show you a close up with the earring. They're very pretty. Almost has like a gold beading on the center. And I'm going to put 15 on these. They're going for about 35, 39, something like that. Very pretty. And they're about an, uh, half, three quarters of an inch, I would say, circle. Set those over there. See if I've got any more marked pieces that I think you got. Well, I have. These are so pretty. You guys know what that is, don't you? Of course you do. Premier Design. And it has purple stones. All just gorgeous. You can go back out a bit. So it says purple stones. And it is a gorgeous antiqued gold tone to look old. I do believe all those stones are there. This up here is like a little, has a little dots. And I'm gonna put eight on these. Okay, what else do we have that is really cool? Um, 
those can wait. Aha. These are clips. These are New York, Paris, almost like a disc with the little hearts. Very unusual. Very cool. And these are Mark. These are. Oh, yeah. These are Carol Lee. Very, very pretty. Right there. Yeah, these are gorgeous. New York, Paris with the hearts. Very nice clips. These look brand new, and I've kept them in a bag. Very pretty. That's got a little remnants of a tag. I could get off of there. And I've ne I I don't think I've ever found these. But these are so cute. Look at that. So I think I'll put ten on these. Probably should be more. I don't know. I I'm just not sure. Those are darling, and they are right eh, about an inch and a quarter circle. And I think as far as this pen goes, I'll show this one because I cannot believe it never sold. It is this beautiful woman in this hat. Isn't that lovely? Let's see if I can get it. There we go. She's beautiful. It has a C clasp, a very C clasp, if you can see it. Black on the back. Things in great condition. Probably one of the older pins that I have. Brooches. And I'm going to put 15 on her. Okay, the rest I can we can wait on. Um, I don't remember who this is. Hold on here. Who? Oh, Celebrity. Do you remember Celebrity? Oh, goodness. These are darling. That says Celebrity. Look, right there. No, you can't see. These are just cute little clips. So I'll put five on these. Aren't they sweet? They're like little, they look like little leaves in fabulous shape. These look brand new. And I think as far as uh, mark pieces, um, these are BSK. I'll go through these. These are darling. These are leaves with like a little electroplate cut that just makes them shine. These are BSK. These are those Omega clips. But you can also put a little stud in your ear and wear these even though you have pierced ears. It's pretty cool. These are very sweet. So these are BSK. I'll put six on these. Very nice. And I'll show you the back. I think those are pretty. I think it says BSK right there. Okay. And I think last but not least, I'll just save the rest. I'll put them in with something else. We have Monet, I think. I think these are Monet. Oh, I hear the storm of brewing. I knew it. Maybe these aren't Monet. Uh, anyway, they should be. <laughs> Okay, these are not Monet. These are nothing, but they are beautiful. So these are vintage. These are clips. These are just beautiful. They're about an inch and a half, kind of oblong circle, kind of like the shape of a starfish or a sand dollar. I'm sorry. These are fabulous. I would wear these even though I have pierced ears. These are the most gorgeous gold tone. 
So I'm gonna put eight on these. It says YouTube video link. Okay, let me make sure. There it is, right there. Okay. Include replies. I'll just leave all that alone. Filter duplicate. I don't think there are any. Let's see what happens. Include replies. I'll just leave all that alone. Filter duplicate. I don't think there are any. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Did you guys, could you guys see that? Is Dan. So congratulations on 750 subbies, Monique. Okay, now I'm going to do that. Dan, all you have to do is email me and I need a shipping address and you will have something coming. Okay, let's do another one. You guys ready for this? I am so sorry. A way to fix this. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Get YouTube comments. Is it worth it, guys? I hope so. Get YouTube comments. Now let's did we click select winner from on entries? So if I won one, why is it still even showing me? But that's all right. Ready? Here we go. CC Collections. Very good. Yeah, she let me know exactly how many I had that one time. So, it's Dan and CC, and I'm going to screenshot this one. And I want you guys to understand, I am so sorry that this messed up. I might have to edit this video and I don't want to but I will all right I'm gonna get off of here and I want you guys to have a beautiful Sunday um we will have more videos I've got jewelry coming I'm very happy one of my reseller friends helped me out and then I got a box from shop goodwill and I'm just thrilled so I will say good night you guys stay well and stay blessed. Have a beautiful tomorrow.